This is Mike Torino. If you're at all interested in construction in the Philippines, this is what my channel's about. What I'm doing now is constructing a garage here in Tayabas, Quezon. Part of what Torino does is a lot of welding, painting, restoration of broken things. I invite you to subscribe and follow me on this journey. Thank you. Hey, good afternoon. This is Mike Torino. And I just wanted to share a short video. Uh, I bought a Suzuki here in, here in the Philippines, of course. And uh, I always wanted one of these trucks. It's a uh, Suzuki Carry. Uh, this is a 2006 model, but it's been refurbished in 2022. It is a 4x4, um, and it's a drop side pickup. Uh, so I'm honestly I'm confused, but there's, they go by many names. Some of them call uh, multi cab, uh, others call it the carry model, and they even have vans. I mean, they, this line here is extensive. Um, a lot of a lot of these are also being imported into, into the U.S. to uh, kind of as an alternative to maybe a Polaris or a a mule ATV and. Uh, I really like it. It's a five-speed, and it's got a three-cylinder gas engine, and I'll show you around a little bit. Again, this is a 2006 model. These are imported from Japan. Um, they, I believe they come in, imported in, in pieces, and uh, what the the manufacturer here, or well, the integrator, I should say, here, are able to do is take all the pieces, reassemble them, and have them certified in the Philippines as a new vehicle with a new owner. So I, when my registration comes through, I'll be listed as the actual um, first owner of this truck, which is, is good. Um, I'm glad they're able to do this. The, uh, these are really popular here because of, mostly because of the size I think and the capability of it. one thing you know I, I, I could have got a pickup a medium-sized pickup or, or a full size they've got Rangers here they've got uh, a lot of Toyotas that are comparable to something like a Tundra in the US and they even have Ford uh, not F-150, but uh, they go by a different name here, similar to F-150. But they're too big for, for where we live. We've got a lot of small roads, residential roads, and it's just very difficult getting those larger vehicles through the through the, the uh, brand guy here. And also, because we've, the property that we've bought, a farm property that's up in the, in the hills here in Ali Tahoe. The roads are very narrow, and you can get a full-size car up there. But uh, last time, like when we had our survey guy come up, his van got got stuck. He fell off the shoulder of the road and got stuck. So, but I just really love the the uh, the package, the the smallness of it, if you will. This. Uh, particular model is a drop side so you can drop the tailgate of course and you can also drop the sides to make it kind of a flatbed for loading and unloading. The model also comes with a uh, back cover canopy and under the canopy you have flip up bench seats so these will fold up like this and fold down. You could put the put the family in there for a short trip. Not recommended on the highway. Just around town. Uh, so I like the canopy, but I also like the look of it without the canopy. It looks more give it more of a pickup look. But uh, as far as the renovations, what they've done with with these is uh, just a complete bottom up tear down and repainting resurfacing things like that and I've been going through the weeds a little bit myself here in four-wheel drive 
it has a three cylinder engine and honestly it's not very powerful uh, once you once you go past well once you go into fourth or fifth you need to be on a level road or a downhill stretch because it's just kind of a dog in fourth and fifth but first through third is, is fine uh, it's not a speed demon by any means and and honestly, part of the deal was I don't I I don't know you know the history of the of the engine. Uh, I know it's not leaking. It looks like it's been rebuilt, certainly been taken apart and repainted. So I don't really know the history of it, but this is what I do. Uh, if you if you go back to some of my other videos, you'll see what I've been able to do to some small motorcycles. What, what I like to do is take everything completely apart down to its lowest denominator, completely refurbish it and put it all back together. So even though this is done, uh, in some people's minds they call it done, I don't call it done. What I'm going to do is, is uh, you know, when the garage is done, I'm going to do the same thing to this that I've done to my motorcycles and just completely tear it apart. Uh, some of the things I want to do for improvements is uh, I want to put a four inch lift kit on uh, you can do that and they look really really cool uh, either with a two or a five like a four inch lift I think it would look amazing uh, but it, it's it and the engine is uh, 2006 it is fuel injected the uh, has the on the four wheel drive is on demand so I can it's, it's electronic so I can go from uh, two high to uh, four low or four high right in the cab. I just uh, change the lever and it will electronically uh, activate the gearbox for what you want to do. And I can, I can tell you that four, four low is, is very good. I was able to uh, mud around here in this in this field that you see behind me I uh, tried it in two and I just spin but when you kick into four no problem you can pull yourself right out of almost anything so I'll, you'll probably be seeing more of this and uh, subscribe if you want to follow how about what I do to this little truck thanks